Bonjour tout le monde. Today we are doing lesson number 10 in Mo Passport part 3. And the name of the lesson is Journée de Clôture. It, it means closure day. Now we'll start reading. Les étudiants doivent préparer une affiche donnant tous les détails de la journée de clôture. It means the students. Doivent means have to. Participate. Oh, sorry. Prepare means to prepare. Une affiche a poster. Dono giving. Tous les détails. All the details. De la journée de clôture. All the detail of closure days. Closure day. Voilà ce que here is what. Ils ont préparé. They prepared. Lisons. Let's read. Savez-vous? Do you know? L'école organise une journée de clôture. The school organize a closure day. Savez-vous? Do you know? Journée clôture de mon école. Closure day of my school. Elle, a, elle est l'occasion pour les classes d'organiser ensemble des activités et de partager un moment de convivialité en associant les parents et les professeurs. It means it is the occasion for the classes to organize together some activities and to share a friendly moment. A moment de convivialité. Convivialité is friendly. And moment de convivialité would be friendly moment. On association means with the association of parents and teachers. L'événement de clôture se déroule de 9h à 17h dans le terrain de sport de l'école. Which means the closure event takes place from 9 to 5, 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the sports ground of the school. Le samedi 22 août, the Saturday 22nd October, veille des vacances on the eve of vacations. Les classes, les classes ont organisé un parcours sportif avec course, saut, tir, court à sauter, lancer et les autres activités comme jouer au tennis, faire du jonglage, etc. The classes have organized a sportive journey, parkour is journey, sportive is sportive, sportive journey with course is race, so is jump, tir is shooting, koch a saute is skipping rope, lance is throw, et des autres, les autres activités and other activities. Comme jouer au tennis, like tennis, Faire du jonglage, juggling, etc. Qui vont enrichir cette journée? Which will enrich this day? Elles invitent tous les enfants de l'école à participer avec au final à goûter. They invite all the students of the school to participate with au final at the end à goûter à snack. La mère les accompagne comme invité d'honneur lors de cet événement pour les motiver. La mère de mère accompagne, accompagne means accompanies. Les is them, the mère accompanies them pour comme invité d'honneur as a guest of honor. Lors de during cet événement, this event, pour les motiver, to motivate them. So now we will do the question answers. Quand les étudiants organisent till cette journée? When are the students organizing this day? This day is being organized on... Mm, date is given... Okay, this answer was in the last chapter. It, this is not in this chapter because here it, only the time is given. Because in the last chapter, they were discussing when the closure day will be celebrated. It's written 21st August. No, it's 22nd August. So your answer would be la journée, cette journée 
Les étudiants organisent cette journée le 22 août. Qui peut participer à la journée de clôture? Who can participate in this closure day? So, who can participate? Elles en vie, tous les enfants de l'école à participer. So, tous les enfants de l'école peuvent participer. Tous les enfants. Participate and then you can write à la journée de clôture too. Now the no the spa two names of sports. One was tea and another was jouer au tennis. Arepa, a meal, which is goûté. Un homme politique. La mer. Okay, so now we need to do grammar. In this, you will do sports. With sports, you will use further plus un sport or an activity sportive. For example, fair de la, fair de l apostrophe, fair du. Fair du will come before a masculine uh, sport. Fair de la, when the sport starts with a vowel. For fair de la when the sport is feminine. You can see the example. Fair du ski. Ski is masculine, so du. Fair du velo to do cycling. Fair de la natation to do swimming. Fair de la danse to do dan dance. Dance is feminine. Dance is feminine. De la natation is feminine. De la Velo is masculine, tu. Ski is masculine, tu. Je, when there is any game, jouer a. Pair is followed by the, jouer is followed by a. So, a je, jouer a la, for feminine, jouer a le, before a vowel, jouer o, masculine, jouer o, plural. Example is jouer o football, jouer o monopoly. Jouer aux échecs. Sport or game. Pour certaines activités, faire de ou jouer à. Les deux sont possibles. Both are possible. You can use faire de, you can use jouer à. For example, jouer au tennis ou faire au tennis. Instrument of music. Musical instrument. Jouer de. Fair de for sport, joué a for jeu, for games, joué a for instrument, mm -hmm. musical instrument. An instrument de musique, joué du, joué de la, it's same as we have just, uh, just saw here. De la for feminine, du for masculine, de for plural, de l apostrophe vowel. For example, joué du piano, joué de la trompette. We use verb fair with the preposition the. Joué with the preposition a for games and sports. Joué with preposition the for musical instrument. That's two one exercise. Yeah. So, nous, 
dash cricket nu juo juo we play cricket o cricket juo a is followed by a game juo the is followed by an instrument who is me fer de la natacion fer de la natacion je ju je ju de la guitar i play guitar l des velo l fe ju velo le garçon dash foot le garçon ju o foot l des violon l ju Do violon because violon is an is a musical instrument and before that we write the Marie Fe de la danse. Il joue au hockey. Nous faisons du ski. Je joue du piano. In this, our next topic is savoir and connaître. Where do we use savoir? Where do we use connaître? La connaissance da fe ou d'une information. It means the knowledge of a fact or information. On utilise savoir pour une chose qu'on apprend. We use savoir for one thing which we are learning. La connaissance d'une personne, d'une chose ou un lieu. When you know someone, any person, anything or any place. We use connaître verb, but we, when we know any fact, we use savoir. We know any information, we use savoir. So, je connais qu'il va venir. Okay. Connaître ne peut pas être suivi d'une préposition subordonnée, introduite par que, si, quel, ou, ce qui. We cannot use connaître verb when there is any phrase, a full phrase, which starts with ke, si, kel, u, saki. For example, je se, se will come here, je se, kil va venir, ke is coming here, so ke. Si comes, kel comes, u comes, saki comes, we will use savoir instead of et, uh, connaître. And when there is a verb after the blank, you will always use savoir because connaître is never followed by a verb. Let's see the conjugation of savoir and connaître. Savoir, both words, both verb mean to know. Je sais, tu sais, il sait, elle sait. Nous savons, vous savez, ils savent, elles savent. For connaître, je connais, you will remove T-R-E and you will keep it as a base, C-O-N-N-A-I, and accent will be removed, it will become simple I. Connais, tu connais, il, elle connaît, il, elle connaît. Here T will be having this accent. Nous connaissons, vous connaissez, il, elle connaît. Basically, the conjugation, you have to remove T-R-E and the conjugation will be same as I-R ending regular verb. Let's see the example. Je sais danser. Tu sais jouer au cricket. Nous savons où il habite. Je connais la France. This is the name of a place. Je connais cet homme, a person. Je connais cette maison, a place. So let's do the exercise. Est-ce que tu connais le nouvel, nouveau professeur? Because it's a person. Tu connais le nouveau professeur? Nous savons danser. Il, con, 
connaît les conjugaisons, ils connaissent les conjugaisons, les enfants connaissent les chiens, Sylvie connaît les étudiants, because étudiant is also a person. Est-ce que tu sais à quelle heure la film va commencer? Tu sais. Because here, à quelle heure? Quel, when quelque, si these phrases come, we use a word, not connaître. Les, les enfants savent chanter. Ils ne dèchent pas parler l'anglais. Ils ne savent pas. They do not know to speak English. Je ne dèchent pas. Je ne connais pas. I don't know Spain. Il dèche que, que comes here. So you will use savoir verb. Il sait. Jean et Lys. Dash, un très bon restaurant. Restaurant is a place. So, connais, connais. Est-ce que tu connais Emily? Emily is a person. Vous, Dash, où est Louis? Vous savez où est Louis? Vous dèche la règle de grammaire? Vous connaissez. Vous connaissez les règles de grammaire. Ces étudiants connaissent les, cette histoire. Vos parents n'habitent pas dans la ville. Vous écrivez à vos parents pour les inviter à la journée de clôture. À écrivez les informations. The meaning of this question is your parents do not live in the city. You write to your parents to invite them for the closure day. Write the invitation. So, The invitation would be, firstly, one second, you will write here, this would be in the right side of the extreme right side, okay? You will write the city and the date, le 11 October 2024. Then you will write here, cher parents, dear parents, comment allez-vous, how are you? Nous organisons la journée de clôture dans notre école le 20 août. We are organizing the closure day in our school on 22nd August. L'avènement se déroulera à 9h à 17h dans l'école. The event will take place from 9 o'clock to... 5 o'clock in the school, je vous invite. I'm inviting you. Soyez à l'heure. Be on time. Bisous. Kisses. And then your name. Your name will come here. We are done with this, this. And now who will a question. Mon père va au bureau en voiture. My father goes to office in car. So how does your father go to office? How is como va ton père au bureau? Je me couche à 22 heures. What time do you sleep? So à quelle heure
te couches tout. Or tu te couches, you can write. Nous allons au cinéma ce dimanche. We are going to cinema this Sunday. You can either say when are you going to cinema or where are you going this Sunday. So I am writing when are you going. Quand is when? Quand allez-vous? Au cinéma. Quand, quand allez-vous au cinéma? Je ne vais pas à l'école parce que je suis malade. I am not going to school because I am not well. Pourquoi tu ne vas pas à l'école? Why are you not going to school? Pourquoi means why tu ne vas pas à l'école? J'achète trois stylos. I'm buying three pens. So, combien de stylos? How many pens? When any number is given in question, you will use combien de? Combien de stylos? Achète two. Le médecin guérit les malades. The doctor treats the sick. So, who treats? Qui guérit les malades? Malade. Mon nom est Blanc. My name is Blanc. Comment tu t'appelles? Je préfère la robe noire. Qu'est-ce que tu préfères? Next is imperatif. In last chapter, we have learned imperatif, I think. Because imperative is not introduced in this chapter. You haven't learned imperative before. Yeah, you have learned imperative in lesson 8. So if you do not know how to do imperative, you go to lesson 8, watch that video and then come back here to do imperative. Mm. Okay, uh, vous savez la vérité. Save is a verb which is an exception. So it would be sachez la vérité. And then from next sentence, I'll be writing only the verb and nothing else. So you have to write the whole sentence. Only skip the subject. For example, here, vous is the subject. Nu is the subject. Tu is the subject. Tu is the subject. Vous, tu, tu. So you have to skip the subject and I will be conjugating the verb and you write the whole sentence. Nous habillons. Habillons se habiller verb which is a pronominal verb. For pronominal verb it would be habillons nous. And then rest of the sentence and then put the exclamatory mark. Tu te réveilles tôt. Tu will be skipped and réveille Toi. Tu ne manges pas de beurre. You will just remove tu and write ne mange pas de beurre. Burger. Vous avez de la patience. 
this is the verb which is avar and uh, for avar conjugation is aye because avar is an exception and de la passions tu ne te repose pas ne te repose S will be removed because this is the rule for year ending verbs with tu. You have to remove S. Tu va au théâtre. So its answer would be va au théâtre. Reason is it's again year ending verb, aller verb. For year ending verb, you have to remove S when you conjugate with tu. Nous faisons des exercices, so you simply remove no and this, the remaining will be same. Only remove no and this is the answer. Faisons des exercices and put exclamatory mark. That's it. Now, mettez les phrases au pluriel. Je choisis la petite jupe, petite jupe bleue. Je will become no. I choose, we choose. Choisissons. La will change to le. Petit will become petit with s. Jupe will be jupe with s. Blur will be with s. Je is I, nu is V. Tu lis le journal. Vous lisez les journaux. Vous lisez les journaux. Vous lisez les journaux. Journal, plural form of journal is journaux, not journal with us. Tu will change to vous and li will change to lisez. Because the conjugation of lire is lise with vu. Next is ma sœur achète un bijou. Mes sœur achète des bijoux. Elle met le livre dans son cartable. Elle M E T T E N T. Le livre will become le livre dans. Son will become leur cartable with S. Because if you have done adjective possessive, you must be knowing L with L, our adjective possessive is son sa se, but with L plural, our adjective possessive is lur, lur, lur. So you will change according to the subject. So forget the previous one. Focus on the, on this subject. And you will change everything according to that. Je veux un cahier, une trousse et un crayon. Je will become nu. Conjugation of vouloir is voulons. A cahier will become de cahier. Une trousse de trousse. Et you, un crayon will become de crayon. Il y a un oiseau sur l'arbre. Il y a will say il y a because il y a means there is or there are both. So il y a. An oiseau will become des oiseaux. Sur l'arbre will become les arbres. Uh, L'enfant organise un carnaval. Les enfants, l'enfant will become les enfants. Organise. 
आ विल बिकम दे कार्नवाल विद एस बिकॉज कार्नवाल इज एन एक्सेप्शन नॉर्मली एल बिकम्स ए यू एक्स इन प्लूरल फॉर्म बट कार्नवाल इज एन एक्सेप्शन इट टेक्स एस नॉट ए यू एक्स ल पोलिसी दोन ल सीनियर ले पोलिसियर दोन ले सीनियो ई आर एंडिंग विल बिकम ई आर ई एंड द एक्सेंट एक्सो ग्राव ऑन द ई फोर आर and senior is al ending which will become aux al will become aux next is complete complete avec l'article defini ou partitif partitif is the article which is used to tell the qual quantity of something and definite article is used when the any food item is with ame deteste adore and prefer when there are these four verbs ame deteste adore and prefer we always use lalale otherwise we use partitive article so jam le frui because ame verb le frui jamoj boku de frui boku is followed by de you have done a uh, adverb of quantity il boa juju partitive particle id il the test lole the test a verb to definite article il na vapa the pule il prefer le poisson il adore le film il mange du he he tries des légumes a du potage because here the verb is manger no time the test they adore and prefer potage is a g e ending a g e endings are mostly masculine so du potage masculine so this is the end of the lesson we are done with lesson 10 if you get any doubt you can ask me in comment section but please it's a request don't call me on random time because i also take tuition i'm busy i also have a family many students they call me at 9 o'clock at 10 o'clock to ask me their doubts it's a request to write your doubts in comment section don't call me for doubts thank you so much